My name is Joe Maimoni. I'm the headmaster of Thomas Jefferson Classical Academy. Thomas Jefferson Classical Academy was co-founded uh, by myself and several other folks back in 1999. This is our 16th year of providing a high quality college preparatory education here in uh, rural Rutherford County, North Carolina. We really offer a vast array of uh, programs for our students. Uh, we currently have 1,300 students on two campuses serving grades K through 12. With that size student population, we're able to offer a full array of sports programs, uh, which of course are very expensive to get off the ground, but we've been very successful with great parental support to make that happen. We offer a full drama program. We have two productions per year. We offer an orchestra program with two productions per year. Great opportunities for our students to participate in extracurricular activities. We have a real passion for our students here in, in rural Rutherford County. Uh, this area has been hit very hard by major economic changes. We saw very quickly a niche and need uh, that had to be filled here to provide a, a strong college preparatory education. Just to begin with, just to get a perspective, uh, when we compare our budget per student compared to the local schools around us per student, we operate on just about 75 cents to the dollar to the local schools around us. We are not eligible to get funding for new buses, replacement buses that the traditional schools around us are eligible for. That means we have to beg for the secondhand buses that are oftentimes over 200, 250,000 miles on them, over 10, 15 years old, and they take a lot of uh, care to keep running well and safe on the roads. Over $100,000, great, great challenge. And uh, to get some local funding to help us meet some of that need would allow us to get newer buses and safer buses on the road. We feel that's a very, very important piece of the operation of a successful school. We uh, do not apply for the federal free and reduced lunch program. That's a conscious decision our board has made that we wanted to be able to offer higher quality local foods and um, uh, our parents uh, pay $3 per lunch and free and reduced eligible students uh, pay a lower amount of $2 a, a lunch. The more funds we have locally that can help us support that program, the better off our students are gonna be. But most importantly, at least getting fair funding from our local funding streams, particularly from Cleveland County, is what is absolutely essential for us to continue to provide high quality programs here at Thomas Jefferson. Do you know how much money your public charter school is being denied each year? I have a pretty good idea. Oh my gosh. If you think about $440,000 over a 10 year period, that's over $4 million that we've lost from local funding. That would go such a long way. It's critically important that we get that fair, fair funding for our students. This is the story of Thomas Jefferson Classical Academy. My name is Joe Maimoni and I support fair funding for all public schools in North Carolina.